we got this amazing, to me, just amazing uh, rubber road repair man running out of or running by a manhole cover. Um, so man running by a manhole cover. Here comes a car. And uh, I'm going to hand it over to Gordy and get his take on, on it as well. We patched it so it wouldn't freeze up and break up and make a big pothole beside that uh, manhole. But uh, I don't know. I don't see the bad hair there. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> looks, I think it looks like somebody running myself over here. That looks more like a horse to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah from this head. angle. Yeah, the horse's head. I mean, oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. this is, it's kind of amazing because I think everybody sees a little something different when they look at it. Yeah. You can call it whatever you want to, and then you can make your whatever. So uh, it's kind of. About how these things were made. You're working with a liquid. Well, it made me think of Jackson Pollock and Franz Klein and, and the Southeast Asian Sumi paintings and um, even some of the the uh, drawings in Lascaux and Altamira and cave paintings. And I need to find out who makes these lines and how are they made. I like serving the city and I like the variety of things they throw at us that we love golf. <laughs> with these guys right here. <laughs> Diversity. Um, I like the guys who work <laughs> They don't feel that way. <laughs> now they know. Well, you know, they make me look wonderful. <laughs> me? Yeah. Oh, I just, you know, I, I love the challenges. And I can't wait for snow. I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> I, I run one of the big blowers, and that is one of my fortes. Oh, yeah, you told me. I just love um, the power of rain. I'm a guy to guy. I love blowing that snow. And, uh, the challenges that come with the city and, and making it safe for you folks. Um, you know, my other forte is laying brick. I, I can't get enough brick down fast enough. And uh, that's, I just love it sometimes. I have a sidewalk to talk about. <laughs> Katarina noon, I said, wait till after the opening. <laughs> Taking work orders. <laughs> right, 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 right. Uh, Talk to you later. Chris? Uh, I like serving the city, making things better around the area. Hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the I just have to say that I enjoy working here in the city and for the people, and what work we do is done to the best ability we can do it at. That's it. Well said. Um, I enjoy working with all of these guys and, and like they said, some of the different things we do. Last year, um, I got to work an overnight making snow for the snowboard park. And um, I'm out there and it's two, three o'clock in the morning and there's people sledding. I just, you know what I mean, seeing that, all right, people do appreciate that this is going on. People must work second shift jobs or come home for the bar or something, but two o'clock in the morning, there's people sledding down the hill at Payson Park. So it kind of, it was nice to see people using it. Using this. Sweet. So, um, <coughs> Katarina, would you talk about some about anything you want to talk about? The idea was, well, what can happen? I mean, what is this work really about then? It's really looking at something that might be utilitarian, but really isolating things in a nuanced way or or, I mean, I'm a firm believer that, you know, change really happens not in major ways, but in really just very slight shifting of perspective. So perhaps these, these prints are really that. It's a way of seeing the things that are right underneath our feet as we walk the streets of Portland, and everybody sees them. But then, if you choose to see something in a, in a radically different way, or a very minutely different way, well, what does that say about how you tend to see the world? So, that is sort of at the ground of the work that I make, and, and it certainly is part of what, the, what these prints are. So thank you, um, because I think there, you said that this is just work, but there is something that has to happen when you see something that needs to be repaired. You have to make very nuanced decisions about how to connect the lines and how to work with this material that's very dangerous and very hot. Well, if you look at 
paint, uh, photographs of Jackson Pollock sort of dripping his paint or, or even a, a paintbrush full of ink. They, they're same tools, maybe not the same intention, but there is an overlap there. So I look forward to your next body of work. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. The things that we remember would be the extreme hills that we had to go up <laughs> right, right. and the amount of material that we had to put down. That would stick out for us. Me as an individual, I can't speak for the guys, but I think they'll agree.